Today, my friends and I played AI Invasion a hilarious game created by Doug Doug. In this game, players compete to earn points through a series of turns. The success of these turns is determined by the outcome of the program Novel AI. This edition of the game will take place in a mall, with four players trying to become the ultimate mall monopoly. Each player starts with a store and a special resource, which counts for one point each. Players will take turns trying to claim more stores and resources throughout the game. I began with control of Nathan's Hot Dogs and a brand deal with Badlands Chugs. As for my friends, Hayden took over Aeropostal and made cool helicopter t-shirts. Max commands Panda Express and a large amount of Kung Fu Panda DVDs. While Avi owns Subway and decided to make some delicious Subway exclusive green Doritos. To win the game, a player must collect at least 8 points and have 2 more points than the player behind them. So let's start with Aeropostal making the first move. The battle for the mall has begun. Alright Hayden, what do you want to do on your first turn? I want to go to Cinnabon. Alright, so you want to invade Cinnabon. Any specific yeah. strategy you want to use? Uh, I trade in a bunch of um, shirts and offer protection in return for them being under my jurisdiction. With the attempt to take over the mall underway, the CEO of Aeropostal, Mr. Aeropostal, has an idea. He decides to offer Cinnabon some Chinook t-shirts in exchange for joining his company. When Cinnabon's manager, Mr. Cinnabon, sees the t-shirts, he becomes overwhelmed by their beauty and immediately accepts the offer. Cinnabon has the Chinooks put in advertisements on every TV in the mall, and the Chinooks start to lure more customers. Um, Cinnabon sucks anyway. Like I, I didn't, I wasn't even gonna go for them anyway. Well, I just needed a, I just need a food source for my, uh, for Aeropostal. This means that Hayden's attempt to take over Cinnabon worked. He now controls Cinnabon, and more importantly, he has three points. Max, it's your turn. What the fuck is Sparrow? Let's let's go let's go for them. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go get them. We're gonna we're gonna create some combo food. We're gonna do something crazy here. We're going to fuse the Panda Express menu with a Sparrow pizza. We're gonna have like the Panda Express food on the fucking pizza. We're gonna have the orange chicken on the pizza. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna benefit everyone. We're gonna have the craziest fucking pizza menu. It's gonna be great. In an attempt to acquire the Sparrow brand, the CEO of Panda Express makes an offer. He tells Sparrow that he will combine the menus of the two restaurants to create the ultimate fusion food. Sparrow agrees yeah. and the two companies form an alliance, but the CEO of Nathan's Hot Dogs, Mr. Nathan's, is furious about this new alliance and wants revenge. Mr. Nathan's yeah. has an idea. He decides to go after the other popular mall restaurant, Chipotle. The plan is simple. Mr. Nathan's will buy all the guacamole from the other stores in the mall and use it to make a new hot dog. Did the AI, did the AI do that itself? Yeah. When the hot dogs are finished, they will be called the guac dogs. The guac dogs will be so good that everyone will buy them instead of the burritos. With their plan and set in motion, Mr. Nathan starts to buy the guacamole. The day of the release, the guac dogs end up tasting terrible. That entire guacamole side plot ended up being completely useless because they all tasted terrible. So for my turn, I am going to continue the guacamole hot dog arc. Furious about the failure of his guac dogs, Mr. Nathan's decides to retry the recipe infusing them with other Mexican food items to make the burrito dog. This time the guac dogs taste better than the guac dogs. What? But the Bruh. mall has no more guacamole left, so the mall is out of business. <laughs> we're not gonna include no. that part, we're gonna re-roll. There's a timeline where you fucked over the entire mall. We <laughs> go over guacamole. So the guac dogs fail again. With no guacamole left, there's nothing to do, so Mr. Nathan's gives up on the plan. So basically, there's no more guacamole left in the entire mall. I accidentally started a crisis. Okay, Avi, what do you what do you want to do? I want to go for a hot dog on a stick, okay? So you know how Subway has those giant long fucking cookies? And then we told, uh, we'll give them money. Uh, actually, no, we'll give every single hot dog on a stick employee a nice, very, very lovely and long hug. So you want to offer them warm hugs and Subway cookies? Yes! In an attempt to gain his company some ground in the arms race, the CEO of Subway decides to offer Hot Dog on a Stick lots of warm hugs and Subway cookies in exchange for merging their businesses. Hot Dog on a Stick accepts and Subway gains a lot of popularity, but when the CEO of Nathan's Hot Dog sees that Subway is gaining a lot of popularity, he becomes angry. Why is it so bent on making me the villain of the story? You should try it. You should make your whole thing just ruining other people's day. 
I research an unlimited cinnamon roll machine. Mr. Aeropostal offers his employees loads of benefits, including raises and stock in exchange for helping him create the ultimate invention, the infinite cinnamon roll machine. Will his attempts to make this machine be successful, or will the machine blow up and kill everyone in the mall? Only time will tell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the machine works perfectly. Also forgot to mention there's a second floor. I've been thinking. We have a collab right now, right? With Kung Fu Panda. We got, we got all the movies playing there. So what if we took it a step further? We took it to DreamWorks themselves. We're gonna have like a whole DreamWorks like expansion to this shit. Like all the movies or whatever, all the DreamWorks stuff. DreamWorks themed meal, you know, all that stuff. The movies will be playing. Toys, we're bringing back, we're bringing back toys and the meals. Okay. We're replacing the mascot with Po. Panda Express decides to come to DreamWorks with an offer of making collaboration meals like the Shrek meal and the B-movie meal. Panda Express also offers to make the ultimate movie, The Rise of the Guardians. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a good one, actually. I love that I movie. Love that one, dude. Let's go. DreamWorks accepts the offer and they begin to work yes. on Rise of the Guardians. Meanwhile, the CEO of Subway, seeing that Hot Dog on a Stick is no longer making money, decides to fire them and close down their stores. What? What the fuck? Dude. Oh man. Yeah. He also decides to change the, his restaurant's name to Subway's Hot Dogs on a Stick. Subway's Hot Dogs on a Stick quickly begins gaining popularity. Hot Dog on a Stick is closed, but they replace them with Subway's Hot Dogs on a Stick. So Avi, you don't lose any points. It's just no longer Hot Dog on a Stick. Goodbye. We killed Mr. Hot Dog on a Stick. Panda Express is having an entire like DreamWorks like, collaboration works. This is fucking awesome. Angry about his previous failure, Mr. Nathans decides to steal Sparrow from his arch rivals. Mr. Nathans offers Sparrow's CEO a meal based around famous YouTuber Badlands Chugs in exchange for defecting from pandas to Nathans. Sparrow's CEO accepts the deal and Nathans gains a huge victory. Now with his company ah, growing hello. and his employees happy, the CEO of Nathans has a new idea. He decides to go after Cinnabon, the leader of the mall. The plan is simple, he'll create a giant advertisement featuring Badlands Chugs to try and lure customers away from Cinnabon. If his plan works, then he'll be able to take over the mall. And the result is... The best ad ever. Cinnabon has a new rival, Panda Express. Panda Express has a new rival, Hot Dog on a Stick, and Subway has a new rival, Nathan's Hot Dogs. So basically the result is that we all hate each other. Okay. I wanna research a new type of hot dog to rival Nathan's hot dogs. We, we, we put Minecraft diamonds and we convince everyone that Nathan's hot dogs has coal, like real life coal and dirt in it. And that's part of their, their thing. And so everyone goes for our hot dogs instead. I took a small liberty and said they're toppings that look like Minecraft diamonds because I don't think people are actually going to eat diamonds. To rival Nathan's hot dogs, Subway's hot dog on a stick decides to put small toppings that look like Minecraft diamonds on a new hot dog. They also run a smear campaign against Nathan's that claims Nathan's puts dirt and coal in their food. Subway's hot dogs on a stick is soon the most popular store in the mall, but they get into a legal dispute with another fast food company over their trademark diamonds and they lose the battle. Uh, no! So you legally can't have diamonds on your hot dogs. Damn it. Yeah, but it was Mojang. So I talked, I go to Claire's, I come with spreadsheets about our really, really great financial success with our infinite cinnamon roll machine and our amazing fashion statements with our Chinook, um, Chinook shirts and tell them that if they merge with us, they will get those profits too. On top of protection from Nathan's hot dogs. Dude, hey, if you're successful here, you could get Build-A-Bear. Oh my goodness, you're right. So the CEO of Aeropostal decides to go to Claire's with spreadsheets about financial excess involving infinite cinnamon rolls in great fashion and tell them that merging companies will allow them to split profits. In addition, Mr. Aeropostal also offers to protect Claire's from other companies. Claire's decides to the merger to merge their companies. In retaliation to the merger, the CEO of Nathan's Hot Dogs buys a big screen TV and a projector and sets up a huge projector outside the mall. He projects a movie about the life and times of himself and it's a pretty bad movie, <laughs> but Nathan's Hot Dogs is a pretty small company and no one watches. This game hates me. I thought it was I thought you were just gonna show like this in the entire mall, like pulling up and be like, use a bitch, use a bitch, you cool, you suck. 
We're gonna go for uh, Krispy Kreme. We got a whole collab thing with DreamWorks going on. We got we got all the combo meals and everything, you know. And DreamWorks, it's fucking DreamWorks. I'd say it's a pretty big deal, especially with stuff like Shrek and Kung Fu Panda and all that. So I think with that, we can convince Krispy Kreme to come merge with us, and together they can have like the DreamWorks donuts and shit. I think it's a pretty fire deal. I don't know if you don't want Shrek donuts with the little ears popping out, then you can be a bitch. But I think it's pretty cool. After losing Sparrow to Nathan's, Panda Express decides to use their DreamWorks collaborations to offer Krispy Kremes a buyout. In exchange, Krispy Kremes would get Shrek donuts with little ears popping out. Krispy Kremes decides to buy the donuts. Seeing that Panda yeah. Express is buying out their companies, the CEO of Claire's goes to Dairy Queen with an offer. Claire's offers Dairy Queen the exclusive rights to sell a Claire's version of the Blizzard. <laughs> what the fuck? What? What, 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 what would... What is Claire's doing in this? Okay. In exchange, Dairy Queen would give Claire's the rights to sell Blizzard products at their locations. <laughs> Dairy Queen decides to accept the deal. What is Claire's doing? What is Claire's Holy doing? Shit. Max with his Shrek donuts gets Krispy Girl. Kremes. I, you know, I'll, put, I'll, I'll put a little Dairy Queen in the corner. So you get Dairy Queen earrings. After seeing other successes elsewhere, Mr. Nathans decides to pull out the ultimate trick to get his company a victory. Mr. Nathans decides to offer Badlands Chugs to the CEO of McDonald's as an arranged marriage. If successful, what? Nathans Whoa. and McDonald's would become the ultimate powerhouse, but it all hinges oh. on whether or not Badlands Chugs and Ronald McDonald get married. And so Badlands Chugs and Ronald McDonald were wedded, and Nathans Hot Dogs and McDonald's merged into a single mega, mega company called McDonald's. McDonathan's. McDonathan's. <laughs> After the wedding, the newly formed company started selling their new and improved burgers. The McDonathan's burgers were a huge success, and soon the entire mall was filled with McDonathan's burgers and Nathan's hot dogs. Okay, so I get two points. So here's my special resource. I'm going to spread false information, false texts between Badlands Chugs and Ronald McDonald. Oh, Badlands no. Chugs has been cheating on Ronald McDonald. Their whole relationship, not just the marriage or anything. Angry and jealous about the success of McDonathan's, Subway decides to attempt to get in between the relationship between Ronald and Chugs. Subway makes fake AI images of the text between oh. Badlands Chugs and someone unnamed to claim that Chugs is cheating on Ronald McDonald. Subway tries to make the world thinks Chugs is cheating on Ronald, but it fails. I go to build a bear workshop and promise them high quality needles and equipment required to make good bears using Claire's needles and stuff that they use for piercings. So the CEO of Aeropostal decides to offer build a bear workshop the needles from Claire's in exchange for purchasing the company. Claire's is a big company and it's a pretty bad deal. Build a bear workshop refuses and Claire's ends up losing build a bear workshop. After a while, the CEO of McDonald's decides that the relationship between Chugs and Ronald isn't working out, so they divorce. <laughs> What? No. Yes. Oh, oh your, my God. your attempt worked. It just took a while. I have my fair share of breaking relationships apart in the past. What? <laughs> oh. Okay, so I have to figure out which company gets the burgers because if I lose those, then I lose two oh, special it's resources. Divorce. Yeah, it's a divorce. It's a divorce. Yep. Okay, so during the divorce, it's decided that between Nathan's and McDonald's, the company that gets the McDonald's burgers is the winner, and so the burgers are split between the two companies. Companies. With the merger between Nathan's and McDonald's broken up, Subway's hot dog on a stick has gained a large advantage over other fast food chains in the mall. So wait, so like we both get the burgers then? You, you get the burgers on like some days of the week and others the, the other heads of... We're just gonna kind of go for the entire mall right now. What we're gonna do? We're gonna have little mascots walk around and dress up as the DreamWorks characters. But they're gonna be advertising Panda Express and Krispy Kreme donuts. Like they're gonna like literally walk into like all like you know other places. Like they're walk into fucking Cinnabon, Subway, Nathan's everywhere. They're just gonna they're gonna go in there. They're gonna like mock them. They're gonna advertise Panda and Krispy Kreme. You're, you're gonna walk into like the Subway's hot dog on a stick. You're gonna see Barry B Benson there making fun of them, like spitting on the food. Spinning on your hot dogs. In an attempt to make their company more successful, Panda Express asks DreamWorks for their permission to use their characters as mascots for Panda Express. The CEO tells DreamWorks that if they agree, the characters will walk around the mall promoting the food and dissing the food from other places. DreamWorks is hesitant, but eventually decides to give Panda Express permission to use their characters as mascots for their business. The CEO of Subway decides he's going to make a big announcement at the mall about the new product that'll put them above all of the other food chains. Let's see what the new product is. Subway 
Subway's new product is a hot dog bun. The new bun has the texture and flavor of the McDonathan's burger buns. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sue you next round. The new bun, <laughs> Subway is able to sell their burgers at a much higher price point, and the company begins to take over the mall. Angry about having their recipe stolen, Nathan's decides to ask the recently divorced Badlands Chugs to sue Subway for stealing their hot dog recipe. What? Nathan's doesn't expect the case to go anywhere, so, but surprisingly it does, and Chugs wins the lawsuit. With the win, Chugs receives $1 million. <laughs> I love how it's Chugs. Bro. <laughs> I'm gonna see if you still have the hot dog recipe. Does, su does Subway get to keep the recipe? No. Badlands Chugs takes back the recipe and sells them to the mall's new hot dog store, The ah. Bite. Hold on, I'm gonna ask about the bite. The bite is a new hot dog store that's trying to compete with Subway and Nathan's. What? With their new hot what? dog bun recipe, the bite is able to charge five dollars for their hot dogs, where Nathan and Subway are charging one dollar. Are we gonna need to like put a CPU in here or some shit like in Mario Party? Does Nathan's own the bite? No, Badlands Chugs does. So he started his own spin-off restaurant. What? So I still have the, Badlands the, Chugs, but he the, just owns his own restaurant. I'm gonna ask if he shares the money or not. Badlands Chugs keeps all the money. With the high prices of the hot dogs, the customers in the, at the mall have been declining rapidly. It's that the client oh. Subway decides to make an announcement about their new, more affordable hot dogs. Frick you, Badlands Chugs. Clearly hot dogs are not our, our jazz, right? Instead of hot dogs, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a video, a rap song, all right? If we're gonna pitch it to Kendrick, right? Is we're gonna be like, hey Kendrick, if you if you wanna make a rap video dissing Nathan's hot dog, and in return, we're gonna start a Kendrick meal, and it's gonna be the very, very cheap so everyone can afford it, so people are gonna like it, and people are gonna wanna have it. Subway decides to ask Kendrick Lamar to make a music video and song dissing Nathan's hot dogs. Subway also asks Kendrick to agree to making a Kendrick meal at Subway. Kendrick decides to agree to the offer. With the yeah! Kendrick song out, the people in the mall go back to Subway and Subway's business booms. But then they're Nathan's good. decides they're going to make their own diss track about the new Kendrick album. Let's what? see where this goes. What? The song is a huge success and people are now buying the Nathan's hot dogs more than they're buying Subway. With what? the decline in Subway's mm. business, the CEO decides he's going to get back at Nathan's and the bite by offering the bite some. The CEO offers the bite some subs for one dollar, but only for one day. The deal is a huge success and Subway has their sales boosted up once again. As soon as the day is up, the bike goes back to selling the Nathan's hot dogs and Subway sales decline. Avi gains Subway the Kendrick Lamar meal. Nathan's hot dogs made a diss track about Kendrick, but it doesn't get any points. There was a temporary alliance between Subway and the bite, but it didn't last. I'm gonna go to GameStop, and in return for GameStop joining my conglomerate, I give them all the benefits and bonuses involved with being associated with my conglomerate. So unlimited clothes, unlimited cinnamon rolls, and unlimited piercings and other things from Claire's. On top of our really good profits, because you know, we're, we're quite rich because we have no competition in the mall. Unlimited games, but no games? Okay, so Aeropostal decides to offer GameStop tons of piercings, clothes, and cinnamon rolls in an attempt to get them to join the company. GameStop CEO decides Sides. To accept the offer and GameStop is now a part of Aeropostal, Players has a huge idea and that is to start selling video games in their store. They approach GameStop and ask them if they can sell their games in Claire's. Yeah, alright, let's go for Foot Locker. Uh, I guess simple enough, uh, with one of our entire DreamWorks frenzy, we're gonna have some DreamWorks kicks for all the kitties, and I guess for everyone else too. We're gonna have some fire ass shit, like limited, we're gonna have some limited edition shits, you know? Like, the limited edition King Julians, you know? And there's also just gonna be like new Crocs, like you can go around wearing donkey Crocs or something. Okay, so in an attempt to get Foot Locker to join their business, the CEO of Panda Express offers the CEO of Foot Locker a deal. They ask Foot Locker to join their company in exchange for a shoe deal with DreamWorks. The shoe deal would include Donkey Crocs and limited edition King Julian shoes. The King Jays! But Locker agrees and they begin making the Donkey Crocs. With the Donkey Crocs a success, Panda Express decides to make a second shoe. I was gonna say I'm gonna call them Donks, but I had to look up what the word meant just in case and it, it just means a, a massive dick. Lar large, large penis. Yes, that Okay. For this shoe, they ask the CEO of Adidas if they can make the limited edition King Julian shoe. I want to yeah. see where this goes. Adidas is hesitant, but they ultimately agree. The Adidas CEO King Julian shoe is a huge success, and Adidas becomes a part of Panda Express. Subway's CEO has an idea, and that is to hire an animator named Chris and convince him to create an animated <laughs> movie about their story. Chris agrees oh, and begins Chris. working on the movie. The movie is a huge
huge is a huge success and the customers return to the wall in droves. The movie is success. The CEO decides he's going to do something really crazy, and that is with the movie's success, the CEO decides he's going to do something really crazy and desire to hire a man named Joe and have him build a huge statue of Subway's oh, mascot. What? Whoa! <laughs> A cartoon so version of the, of the store owner, Mr. Subway. Joe agrees and begins working on the statue. A huge success and it is now standing in the center of the mall. Okay, so you 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 and Avi both had big turns and now I'm in last place. And Avi gets... <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? Mr. Nathans has finally had enough of the games. Angry about his past defeats, he decides to ask Badlands Chugs and his team to build bombs to blow up the top floor of the mall. Oh, no my God! Chugs' team accepts the offer and Chugs starts making the bombs. But then Badlands Chugs and his crew discover a hidden truth about the mall and decide to share their findings with the world. What in the ground? Chugs and his team forward. find out the mall is actually a simulation created by a man named Michael. The simulation is used to test how corporations react in different environments, and Michael is the one who chooses the winners of the mall war. So everything's fake? As for the bombs, Chugs and his team try to convince the other companies to stop fighting, but they refuse. Seeing no other choice, Chugs and his team set off the bombs and the entire mall explodes. Second floor survives and Chugs' team is now living in the rev remnants of the destroyed mall. The mall ends up getting rebuilt. Is this still a simulation? Is that just like a fact yes. that's just kind of floating around? That only Badland Chugs is apparently like aware of. I'm going to add images of zombies because the mall's been destroyed. <laughs> Can you add the zombie from Plants vs. Zombies? We're also gonna add a picture from the Matrix. You know, the whole mall got blown up and all this, and you know, and I was being put back together and stuff. I start a campaign to, you know, to, uh, we're, we're, we're gonna try and save the, uh, save the humans, you know? It's like a refugee camp in Subway, and they're gonna have free access to food. Okay, so after the mall is rebuilt, Subway starts a campaign to build a refugee camp for those who are injured in the mall bombing attack. They also offer to feed those who are in the camp. The campaign is a huge success, and soon there is a new homeless camp next to the mall. Panda Express, angry about the homeless camp, decides to start a smear campaign against Subway. <laughs> Panda starts a new campaign calling themselves the Panda Express Resistance and starts a movement against Subway. But after a few days, the CEO of Panda decides he wants his company back and decides to ask the CEO of Subway if they can merge their companies. We're gonna reroll that because that would... Yeah, uh, that, that, that would fuck up. That would Unless, um... everything. Panda's campaign starts to get boring and no one is really listening to them anymore. Panda's campaign has become a has become stagnant and soon people are ignoring the campaign altogether. Seeing that their campaign is failing, the CEO of Panda decides to change tactics. Panda starts a new campaign called the Panda Resistance and begins a movement against Subway in their camp. The Resistance is a huge success and soon people are following Panda's every word. What did I do to like make people hate the homeless? What the fuck? <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna grind the homeless into their into their meat for their sandwiches. Save them. Max, if you get any more points and Hayden and Avi don't, you win the game. So I go, I go up to Nathan's hot dogs and bring out the evidence about Badlands Chugs and pull out evidence that we got from the side of Nathan's hot dogs being involved with this. Meaning, if this information goes out, Nathan's hot dogs will completely go under and everybody, everybody in the business will be arrested. However, I won't release this information if they give me one research and one of their stores. I know you're going to be a little mad at me at this, but just to make it so you're not cheesing the AI as much, I made it a little more vague on what they were bargaining for instead of saying like one research in one place i just put that if nathan's hot dogs gives something of theirs in exchange oh, no because otherwise that's on. just cheesing the ai yeah but max wins okay so angry about the bombing earlier aeropostal asks nathan's hot dogs to drop badlands chugs after his terrorist attack however aeropostal won't go public with the information if nathan's hot dogs give something of theirs in exchange nathan's is hesitant but a Agrees. Some of their secret sauce. Aeropostal now has a new weapon and starts the campaign to remove all of the corporations from the mall. Attempt to keep up, the CEO of Nathan's Hot Dogs starts a campaign to try and convince the mall that the terrorists were actually Subway. The campaign is successful and soon everyone believes Subway is behind the attack. Subway is furious about the allegations and begin to start a campaign to prove they aren't behind the attacks. Subway starts a campaign called the Subway Campaign against the accusations and the campaign is a huge success and soon people believe it. 
we reach out to Spencer's, right? Spencer's. With this major collaboration, we're gonna sell not only, I guess, like Panda merch, we're gonna be able to have a bunch of DreamWorks merch here. Now, you know, all the just shirts and stuff, backpacks, hats, or whatever. One thing that we're gonna include in here, baseball bats, right? Mm -hmm. like baseball bats based on DreamWorks stuff, like special baseball bats. What you can do with these baseball bats is you can go after the zombies in the ball and fucking beat the shit out of them. So we fucking profit off of getting rid of the zombie problem, as well as have all of our merch and Spencer's. Ah! I change it so instead of the zombies is to fight off the homeless people in the mall. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so seeing the state of the mall, Panda Express decides to offer Spencer's a collaboration with Panda Express and DreamWorks in exchange for joining. The merch offer also includes Shrek-themed baseball bats to fight off the homeless that have taken up the mall. Spencer's the accepts fight? and now the mall is a battlefield. Furious about what? the homeless taking over the mall, the CEO of Aeropostale and Claire's decides to form a coalition called the Mall <laughs> Coalition. It's a group of companies that want to reclaim the mall from the homeless. The coalition begins a campaign called Reclaim the Mall and starts a movement against the homeless. The coalition is a huge success and soon everyone is rallying behind them. However, the campaign has made the mall very unsafe and people start to get hurt. Okay, so this one's gonna be pretty simple. During the War of the Mall, Nathan's decides to ask Badlands Chugs to rekindle his relationship with Ronald McDonald. Badlands Chugs agrees and they get back in a relationship. It's a huge success and the alliance is reborn. Seeing the relationship rekindle, Panda decides to attack. Panda begins a campaign called the Panda War and begins a movement against the Alliance. The campaign is a, is a success and people begin attacking the Alliance. The Alliance continues and they're unstoppable. We, we go to Africa and we get a bunch of lions and we use these lions to attack the Panda Resistance. Because what is a human going to do to a lion? So during the war, Subway decides to to try and capture lions to attack the Panda Resistance Army and defeat them. However, the plan backfires and the lions end up attacking the Resistance. The Panda Resistance is defeated and the Resistance is forced to retreat. Panda, angry about the loss, decides to offer Hot Topic a merch deal with Panda and DreamWorks in exchange for them joining their co coalition. Hot Topic agrees and the mall is now a battlefield. Panda decides to use Hot Topic's army to take them all back from the homeless and the two begin a campaign. So using my huge stockpile of cash that happened before the entire mall got overrun and my infinite cinnamon roll machine, I offer refuge to all nearby companies. Come with me if you want to live. So seeing the destruction in the mall, Aeropostale decides to offer refuge to any companies or people who are willing. The campaign is a huge success and people are flocking to the mall. Panda and the Mall Coalition are furious and begin a campaign to reclaim the mall. It's a huge success and people are fighting once again. So you, you don't gain or lose any points. Like, your campaign succeeded, but then Max got mad and decided to make it the mall an awful place again. Okay, Max, this is your chance to what win. To what do you want to do? We'll try to go to build a bear. We'll, we'll, just, uh, we'll just use the Panda Express and DreamWorks collab to make a bunch of stuffed animals of all the DreamWorks characters. So in an attempt to take over Build-A-Bear, Panda Express offers to make DreamWorks plushies at Build-A-Bear if they agree to let Panda take the company. Build-A-Bear agrees and Panda is a new ally. Furious about the alliance, Aeropostale decides to try and gain an advantage. Aeropostale decides to offer Foot Locker an alliance with Claire's in exchange for joining their coalition. Oh. If I roll and Hayden successfully gets Foot Locker, the game continues. Foot Locker agrees oh. and the mall is once again a battlefield. During the war, Pizanda, Panda decides to go bid and offer Taco Bell an alliance for, in exchange for them joining Panda. So if you get Taco Bell, you win. What the fuck? And Taco Bell agrees. And that is how Panda Express won the battle for the mall. But things weren't done yet. During the war, Badlands Chugs decides he's going to start making a campaign to make the mall into a giant hot dog. Huh? <laughs> so during the war, Badlands Chugs decides he's going to start a new campaign to make the mall into a giant hot dog. The campaign dog. is called The Big Dog. The campaign is a huge success and soon the whole mall is turned into a giant hot dog. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but what about the war? Well, Badlands Chugs and his friends all realized they couldn't live in a giant hot dog, so they blew up the mall once and for all. After the mall blew up, the four companies came together and realized that maybe, just maybe, they should embrace peace and become allies. What an ending. Aww. Until one of them eventually betrays the others, of course.